Okay, we'll be at the interstate in just a minute and we'll go highway speeds and that's what this car is. It is a great touring car and that's what it was made to be, a touring car. Pop in this thing and just go anywhere, go cross country if you like and turn a lot of heads doing it, that's for sure. Even when it was new, it turned heads. I remember this being just a dream car. I graduated in 1977, so throughout the years, from all the way up to 1979, in my opinion, this was just the ultimate car. America wasn't making very many cars worth having back then, but this one was. All right, accelerates quick. So here we go. There you are, 55, 65, highway speed, no problem whatsoever. It's got ample power. Okay, we're fixing to go over some uh, pretty rough railroad tracks, and I'll show you what that's like. Hands off the wheel, straight and true, no problem. Okay, we'll turn around, do a hard U-turn up here, and of course this is a uh, Easily turn with the palm of one hand, no problem. These cars are really kind of the first modern car of what we now call vintage cars now. First really modern car, um, meaning that the experience behind the wheel is not greatly dissimilar from what a modern car is. Even though the technology here is really dated, they still are really nice, comfortable cars. You don't get tired of driving them. And in fact, a long distance trip is no issue in these cars. They're not, uh, they're not fast, not in today's terms. They were quick in the day, um, but I wouldn't call them fast. Now, there are enough aftermarket suppliers and everybody knows the tweaks on these cars. They can be made a lot faster than they are, but they're certainly peppy enough for modern day traffic but they're not hot rods. They're really boulevard cruisers is what they are. It's got a good sound. The sound inside is uh, very throaty uh, with the windows down. Put the windows up. Of course, we've got power windows, power door locks, tilt, cruise, everything. This is really a, a luxury muscle cars, if you will. When you put the windows up, the car is pretty quiet. By 1979 standards, it's very quiet. You know, the color on this car, this nocturne blue, with this color interior is just a knockout color combination. I remember this being a more rare color than the rest of the colors, and I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but it just seems like I saw fewer of them. They really caught your eye when you did see them. It's just a real eye-popping color combination. Even today, it's very, very striking. Even amongst the exotic new cars, people will stop and give this one a real close second look. A lot of fun to drive. I can see why people are crazy about them. I was crazy about them all those years ago and I can see why people are in love with them again. Well, that's it for the test drive. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, click like and subscribe to our channel and come back often. We find high quality cars, cars that are hard to find, cars that I call the keepers, my son and I, and we purchase those cars and enjoy them a little bit and we have time to make videos of them when we can. And post them for your enjoyment. So uh, come back often and check out some great videos. Okay, adios.